Hi guys, it's Hexer18 again, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about what a rogue access point really is. I know I should have brought this up before, um, but it's something definitely new in technology. A lot of people have started to do now, and it's more noticeable. Um, a rogue access point is a wireless access point that has install that is installed on a network without authorization from an administrator running that network or that has been created by a hacker that is a that is supposedly trying to conduct a middle uh, a man in the middle attack and now if you don't know what man in the middle attack is uh, you know you're gonna have to ref for maybe look it up on the internet or I might even make a video on what man in the middle attack is too. So um, a rogue access point can pose a security threat to a, lar a large organizations or even your home network. Why? Because anyone accessing that potential access point can be monitored what they're going to, what websites, everything they're downloading or even they might be re redirected to a website that the hacker has made that's hosted on a DHCP of their own machine that will make you download a malicious software or program now there is a lot without even the person knowing about it and it's very easy to do you know all the uh, all the person has to do is go buy uh, a cheap router that's from Walmart or something or even eBay uh, under 20 bucks you know you can easily get a wireless card uh, actually now operating systems like Windows 7 and Mac OS X they offer virtualized uh, virtualizing wireless networks now with Eddie Hawk uh, by sharing the wireless signal off the machine itself um, you know anyone that has access to a, a secure network should join the secure network um, so to prevent the actual installation of a rogue ag access point, um, organizations should install a wireless in intrusion detection systems or prevention prevention systems, so that they can monitor the the radio or the wireless spectrum for unauthorized networks that are w within the area. Um, the average user, if you're going to, you know, a Starbucks or you live out in the residential area and you just now recently seen, you know, a wireless network that came up that's unsecure, don't join, don't join those unless you don't feel secure that you're going to, you know, you don't feel easy about joining that network. Um, you know, also look at your signal strength. If you got someone, if you see another network that has the same name as yours, or same company name as your wireless network, you know which ones that should be joined, or you know which one that shouldn't be joined. It's just common sense. Um, also, just join the uh, you know the ones that are managed in your access point list. Uh, you know Windows and you know Mac, they have their own list. Uh, wireless networks, even Linux, they have their own managed list of networks that you join. You save your password on there. You know you're gonna be good to go. Uh, connect to only those secure networks. I, you know, I can't say it anymore. If you're gonna join something then that's that's not secure, then you, you know, you may be asking what you're gonna get. You know, um, a rogue access point. Like I said, it can be created with actually this program's called Karma. Uh, Metasploit. If you ever heard of Karma and Metasploit, it's a, a K Karma script that's with Metasploit, and that's in Backtrack 5 operating system. If you ever heard of the Backtrack operating system, I believe you guys have seen that in the previous videos. Um, you can actually create, uh, you can download Karma script and then use it with Metasploit and then host it off your own wireless card and then have people coming to your system, your Backtrack five which is setting a DHCP server and having them download your you know uh, your malicious software or you know having them redirected to something else or even monitor their, what they're going to Facebook everything so a rogue access point is very dangerous if you ever run into one you know make sure you change passwords stuff like that you know what to do to protect yourself out there so um i just wanted to get this out there to those who do not know what a rogue access point is um 
this was actually asked many a times in my um, YouTube uh, messages that have been sent to my inbox so I wanted to get this out there for those who wanted to know that uh, alright guys if you guys have any comments or have anything else to let me know uh, you know what to do send me your messages or comment thanks talk to you later